Hello, and welcome back to Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic, where last episode we infiltrated the Sith... Well, I wouldn't say infiltrated. We broke into the Sith base and walked right in the front door, convinced the receptionist to, to leave, proceeded to hack into their mainframe, disable all of their security droids, disable... Uh, except for one. Uh, that it was a bit better hardware. However, disabled that one shields. Uh, overloaded all the mainframes we could, except for the mainframes that would kill us. And disabled all the turrets. And unlocked the elevator door and proceeded to just completely destroy every single Sith in that building. Other than the governor who did, who did, uh kill us once, but that's because I'm not supposed to know that he's there, because he, there's no security camera feed to his room. At least if there is one, I didn't look at it in that playthrough, so. Technically, I wouldn't know there was a guy there, but then when I went to go walk through, you know, I'm not gonna just walk through unprepared once I know that he's there, so. Anyway, uh, reminder that this is as far as I am aware which means there's like a 99.9% .9 chance this is the absolute last episode that you can vote whether or not I should be the Guardian, which is the class of Jedi that is really good with the lightsaber. The Counselor, which is the class of Jedi that get a lot of... Well, they get more Force powers and they get, I believe, more points in their Force pool. Not entirely sure. Point is, they're the Force Specialist. Or the Sentinel, which is a mixture of the two. Because, if I remember correctly, what we're about to do is the very last thing we do before we leave Taurus. And I do know that once we leave Taurus, we're going straight to... Essentially, the Jedi Council. Uh, In-game, that is, so that way we can... Uh, talk to them about these visions we've been having. That being said, I know as a player, and also if you read the manual like you would have done if you owned this game when it first came out, because I do have the physical manual. I have actually the physical CDs of this game still. They're just not in mint condition. Um, anyway, if you read the manual, you would know that you were going to become a Jedi. Anyway, I mean, it's, it's a Star Wars game. It's almost unheard of uh, that you would, when this game came out, that you would not be a Jedi if you're playing a Star Wars game. Actually, I think I overshot where I was supposed to go, because I needed to go... Actually, no, I did go to the right spot, because I got to go to the other... Yeah. All right, cool. Anyway, um, so that is happening very, very soon. So this is, this is pretty much your last warning, that if you want to be able to decide some things to go on within this playthrough, there, there's your sign. Uh, there is also, of course, the ability to vote on weapons, which... While your choices have been reduced pretty much since episode one, because nobody voted on it then, um, you can still choose between me using two single-handed weapons or one double-bladed weapon. There are some changes to how attacks work in the background of the game, but honestly, as you've seen, this is on normal difficulty. Uh, this game is not that hard to begin with that requires it doesn't require to min max at all didn't work in fact we've actually botched some elements of our character's creation at least when it comes to skills and that's if you don't know what's going to happen and like don't know how to abuse the system and i for the most part remember everything in this beginning section 
and I vaguely recall things that happen later on. Obviously, I don't remember every single combat encounter, but I, I remember a fair bit, and I figure the more I, I play, the more I remember. That. Neither of us is getting off this planet unless we work together. Now, I know the Sith military base had a break-in, and I know it was you. I know you've got those departure codes I need, so what do you say? We join forces, and I can get you inside Davik's base, and right to the Ebon Hawk. We can go right now. All right. I have a few things to take care of first because I need to make sure that I've done absolutely everything that I am going to do on Terrace first. And it's at that point he realized he needed to outgamble every single person on Terrace. Fair enough, but don't take too long. Well, <laughs> it's at that point he remembered that this episode may or may not air because I have to do a bunch of shit in the background. <laughs> he remembered that he needed to actually, you know, win back all those credits he lost. <laughs> oh, man. Actually, you know what? I'll make this a buffer episode. That's what I will do. If you want to see me play Pazak, this is the episode for you. Unless I fail miserably a bunch of times and change my mind. We'll find out. Is not Don't care. Let's go. You know what I just remembered? As much as I love Bazak, I'm uh not great at it. So uh Probably gonna sell my Pazak deck after that. You are... If you ever. Yeah, I I just remembered that. Uh, uh, as much as I love Pazak, it, a it's not super conducive to the videos because it's a lot of me being quiet and thinking about probabilities in my head. Hey, look at this! If times weren't so. T yeah, I'm a celebrity. I won the arena, and I won the, uh... Shit, I can't summon... Well, that's a lot of cards I will never be getting back, ever. <laughs> a lot of credits that I'm not going to be getting back, hopefully, that I won't need. Yeah, I remembered that, uh... As much as I love it, I'm not really great at it, and it really isn't 
super great for videos. If you enjoy Pazak, Pazak, you know. I think there's actually like uh, a separate like program you can Google and download that is basically Pazak, but like you can play against other people. And that really highlighted how much I suck. Because if I wasn't doing this like on a time limit where like I got a video that I'm recording. And I'm trying to keep within a relatively reasonable time frame. And keep at least somewhat entertaining. Uh, I would be able to pour through all the probabilities and probably make a decent amount of cash. Uh, that being said, I I'm not going to do that to you guys. I thought about it for just a little bit and I was like, nah. Nah, I'm not, I'm not gonna do that. I'm just looking through my inventory list to make sure that I have everything I'm going to need. It's only... I don't like only having 11 computer spikes. For, uh... This next section. It's really going to limit me. Because this next section is not easy. And it's like, that's the question, right? Do you take the droid with you? Or do you take Bastila with you? Because Bastila, on the one hand, really good at combat and can heal you. The droid, on the other hand, very useful at pretty much every single skill in the game. And yeah, I'm taking the droid. If I wouldn't if I wouldn't have botched my skills. Oh, and we have to take him too. We have to take him. I'm not gonna tell you who him is, but once we get him, we need to take him. I don't I don't care how much he's going to absolutely fucking hate us in this video. Well, that's a question, too, because he was programmed based... I, I don't know. Because I'm still trying to, like, play a somewhat lore-friendly game. Like, even though I've botched my skills royally. And... I, I've been playing, honestly, in my opinion, a little too close to the light side. Like, I've had some... I've had a little bit of dark here and there, but... To be fair, this is... I figured you'd be back. Neither of us is getting off now. I so what... Spoilers aside, again, don't spoil things in comments. If you spoil things, I will not let the I will block or do something. I will do something to your comments so the people can't see them, because I know what happens, but other people don't. And even though this is an old game, there are probably still people that haven't played it. So no spoiling. I'm the only one that can spoil things. Spoiler alert: uh, your character dies. Anyway, uh, let's see. Alright, let's join up. But, uh, how are you gonna get me inside of Davik's stick? Davik's always looking to recruit new talent. I'll tell him how you won that swoop race. Mention that you're interested in working for the exchange. I'll say I brought you in so he could check you out. He'll have you stay at his estate for a couple of days while he runs some background checks on you. That's standard procedure. This is too risky. We should find another way. You got another plan, sister? Or are you just objecting because you didn't think of it? No, I don't have another plan. I would rather not place my life in your hands, however. I can say the same about you. That makes us even. Fortunately, we both want to get off this rock, right? While Davik's checking you out, we steal the Ebon Hawk and escape Taurus. Come on, I've got an airspeeder nearby to take us to Davik's estate. The sooner we're off Taurus, the better. Damn right. And here lies the question. Who do I bring with me to Davik's estate? Bastila is really good at killing things. Karth is also really good at killing things. Zalbar... Uh, Zalbar has repair, but not computer. And Mission doesn't have a very high computer skill either.
Yeah. Yeah. Let's bring... Let's bring the droid. It's also the least conspicuous if I do something, shall we say, dark side. <gasps> Cutscene. Uh-oh. That's not a good ship. That looks like a Sith ship. Imagine these if they were remastered. It'd be amazing. It'd be absolutely fucking amazing if they were remastered. Ooh. Ooh, I got chills. You summon me, Lord Malak. The search for Bastila is taking too long. We cannot risk her escaping Taras. Destroy the entire planet. The, the entire planet, Lord Malik. But there are billions of people on Taras. We'd be slaughtering countless innocent civilians, not to mention our own men still on the surface. Your predecessor once made the mistake of questioning my orders, Admiral. Surely you are not so foolish as to make the same mistake. Of, of course not, my Lord Malik. I will do as you command, but it will take several hours to position our fleet. Then I suggest you begin immediately. You are dismissed, Admiral. Yes, Lord Malik. So, remember what I said about the Promised Land thing not working out as planned? <laughs> so, Candorous, I see you've brought someone with you. Most intriguing, if I do say so myself. You usually travel alone. It's not like you to take on partners, Candorous. You're getting soft. Watch yourself, Gallo. You may be the newest calf hound in the pack, but you aren't top dog yet. Enough. I won't have my top two men killing each other. That's not good business. I'm sure Candorous has an explanation as to why he's not working solo anymore. This is a special case, Davak. I ran into someone the Exchange might want to recruit. You may have heard something of their exploits already. Ah, yes. Now I recognize your companion. The rider who won the big swoop race. Very impressive, as was your display in the rather heated battle afterwards. Could finally meet you, Davak. My name's Navar Kalam. You know, Candorous was right. The Exchange is always looking for new talent. You could have a bright future with our organization. With a recommendation from Candorous and a thorough background check, you could become part of the Exchange. Many would kill to prove themselves worthy of this honor. Your offer intrigues me, Davik. Come with me. I will give you a tour of my operations. I'm certain you'll be most impressed. Ah, there she is. The Ebonhawk. My pride and joy. The fastest ship in the Outer Rim. Note the state-of-the-art security system I've had installed to protect her. The shields are completely impregnable. Nobody can get past them without the codes to try and steal my baby. Unfortunately, the Sith military blockade has grounded my vessel. The Ebonhawk can outrun any vessel in the galaxy. But even she isn't fast enough to avoid the auto-targeting laser cannons of the orbiting Sith fleet. I am, of course, working on acquiring the Sith departure codes so that I may come and go as I please. However, progress has been slow. But we should continue our tour. These'll be your accommodations. The slave quarters are just down the hall. If you need anything during your stay, food, a massage, feel free to call upon their services. If all goes well with your background check, you will be invited to join the exchange. I'd advise you to accept the offer when it comes or suffer the dire consequences of refusal. Look forward to working with you, Davik. You will stay in these rooms as my guest for the next few days. I will not accept no for an answer. Feel free to visit the slave quarters at any time during your stay. I must warn you that if you are found anywhere outside the guest wing during your stay, or if you bother my other guests, my security forces will deal with you most harshly. I will return after the investigation into your background is complete. Until then, Make yourself comfortable. Come, Callow. 
Let us leave our guests in peace. Okay, we're inside. Now all we have to do is figure out a way to get past the Ebon Hawk security system, and we can get the rest of your group off this planet. No sense waiting around here, though. The sooner we get off Taurus, the better. Yeah, so remember what I said about the Promised Land thing not working out? Uh, very well. That has something to do with the Sith blowing the entire planet to its smithereens. Although, apparently, they did not succeed in destroying the entire planet, just leveling the entirety of the upper city. <laughs> like, the entire cityscape covering the surface. They basically glassed the thing. It's ridiculous. But hey, gets the job done. All right. And... Oh, he only has a dex of one. So that actually works. That actually does give him a decent armor. Yes? All right. Well... No problem. Hey! What's the idea of barging in here? Get out of here or I'll call the guards. Pudu, the guards? Slaves are allowed outside the slave quarters. I can't let them see me here. Hey, baby, wait. I wasn't actually going... Damn it! Okay, great. You just scared off my date for the night. So you better explain yourself before I lose my temper and call the guards. No need to call the guards. I just got lost. Well, no, I'm a terrible. Pr well, I'll try it. Okay, I guess it was just an honest mistake. You better pay more attention to where you're going. Opening the wrong door around here can get you killed. Now get out of here and don't bother me again. Is there any loot in that room? Mm, I don't remember. I don't think so. Yeah, no, I don't think so. Is there anything in the footlocker? Ooh, there's some stuff in the footlocker. And don't want to... Oh, he has a footlocker. Sorry, buddy. Sorry, buddy. Sorry, buddy. I'm just going to take the shit in the footlocker and leave. Have a nice day. No Dude. problem. Got it. Who are you? Why are you here? Get out of here. Me call the guards. Sorry, wrong room. Get out. Bother me no more. It's like, I'm just here to take your shit and leave. Don't worry about it. No problem. Got it. Ooh. No problem. Got it. No problem. Got it. Oh, ho, ho. Um, I. Oh man, look at these heads. I love the retexture. I love what the retexture did to these heads. It's fucking rancor. Uh, I guarantee you, somebody can name what all these creatures are. That might be a cat hound, but I don't. I think so. That kind of looks like a dewback, but I don't know. Eh, I don't know what the other ones are. I have no idea what the other ones are. Uh, oh, yeah, the slave quarters. Sure. This is a favorite part. Welcome to the slave quarters, good sir. I mean no disrespect, but perhaps one of the female slaves could serve your needs better? Ah, yes. Because when they mean massage, they mean not massage, but quote-unquote massage. 
And of course, they also, uh, this is before they started making more inclusive uh, player choices a thing. Shall I put it that way? You couldn't be gay, damn it, is what I'm saying. <laughs> <sighs> Which actually gets really annoying if you're playing as a female character, because Karth is incessantly trying to hook up with you if you're not totally evil. And it, it gets really annoying, because sometimes you're just like, look, I don't care about you, I don't care about Bastila, I'm just... It's like, I don't like you that way. It's like, I don't like her that way, and I don't like you that way. Just leave me alone. It's sort of the same thing if you're not trying to romance Bastila and you're playing as a male character, the same thing happens, where she's, like, all over you unless you're an evil douchebag, in which case she's not until some things happen in the story where you get to choose, but I either way, it's, it's pushing you in a direction. Now, obviously, I'm going to go that direction because that's what happens in, in the story, but, like, in the canon story of this character, but anyway... For the sake of the full experience of the game... Welcome to the slave quarters, Master. Here we have succulent fruits and berries to tempt your palate, as well as luxurious baths to soothe your aches and pains. <laughs> now this is my kind of place. Would you like a relaxing massage? Whatever your desire, we are here to serve. And you can ask, like, I, I that, that's it. Of course. I'm, Return when That's it. I'm leaving. Too uncomfortable. Let's go. <laughs> but um yeah, now there, there it's it it cuts to black and there's nothing and then it uh, cuz I have done it before, but it cuts to black, there's nothing and then uh it's like there you go. I hope that I blah 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 blah. So it's sexy talk. That's it. But uh yeah, that's in there. I I I, I I was not expecting that to be in this game. Because, like... is the time this game came out, because... Oh, God, I don't have the... Oh, it is on the... Uh, it's T for Teen, I guess. That makes sense. But, like... The, the prostitutes in... Um... Ah, oh, fuck. Ass Assassin's Creed 2 got it a suggestive themes rating, but, like, the literal sex slaves don't get it. <laughs> An M rating. <laughs> they'll give that an M rating. They'll, they'll, give, they'll give Assassin's Creed a, 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 an M rating for that, even though, like, they do absolutely nothing other than distract the guards by, like, just being like, hey, come over here, pretty much. Whereas they have, like, something that's actually, like, shoving innuendos in your face here, and it's T for T. But that's a time sign of the times, I guess. But to be fair, games nowadays are a, a lot more inclusive as to the experiences you can have. Oh god, I just realized that means that Cyberpunk is going to be super awkward. Because, uh, Cyberpunk 2077, it's not out yet, but there's, there's talks that some of the romance scenes are apparently e extremely, extremely realistic, which, it's like, if I wanted to do that, I, I, you know. I'd go to places. <laughs> but, uh... A disclaimer. Uh, videos on this channel are not suitable for <laughs> children by any means. They're intended for people that are 18 years of age or older. <laughs> if you didn't get that from the entire conversation I just had. Um... But, yeah. <laughs> it's it's gonna be awkward. It's gonna be real awkward. Like, I'm really, really looking forward to Cyberpunk 2077 when it comes out this January. 
or no, not January. Fuck, that'd be forever. Uh, September. But on the other hand, there are some elements of that game that I'm like, I hope that I can, like, skip just for, like, YouTube purposes. We'll, 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 we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Right now we're doing Star Wars. Oh, man. Kill them all. Kill them all. And this is why I feel I should have more dark side points. Because I'm just like, are you a potential threat? You die. Uh... I already killed storage. Hangar is me. Yeah, that's right. You can literally kill yourself in the computers, which is great. Uh, disable hangar security. Um... You can kill yourself again by overloading the terminal. You can kill yourself twice. Um, which is horrible, but it if you're an idiot, the options are there for you to just be like, huh, I wonder what this button does. And then you just hit the button and just, like, kill everybody in the room. Oh, man. Um, I think that's it. I'll take my experience and my map discovery, and I will leave. What? It's, it's absolutely horrible, but it's it's an option that's that the game provides, and it's like, okay, if I if I if you don't read the context of what you're doing, you're going to end up like it's not a game you can just blindly stumble through if you're trying to hack, because you will end up. Here it is. Absolutely. All right, two med packs. Ooh, cryovan grenades. This are always good. Ooh, a Trandoshan. Time to die. Let's just away. You know, energy shields will help you here. So I got the droid with me. Otherwise, you'd be a pain in the butt. With all that pesky regeneration on top of your shield. Yep, this was this was a room that I uh, eliminated everybody in. It's the best way to phrase that. Phrasing matters very much. No problem. Got it. There ought to be a workbench. I'm hoping there's a workbench I can use because Candrus is not lethal enough right now. Uh, do I have an iron grenade? Uh, no. Doesn't matter though. Oh, wait, no, I'm unconscious. It might matter a little bit. Uh, droid, shoot. Don't die. Don't die, me. Alright. Thank you. You have no idea what it was like in that torture cage. I don't know how much more I could take before going mad.
Well, now that you're free, there's a matter of a reward. I used to be the pilot of the Ebonhawk, Davik's flagship. I know the codes to disable the security system protect- You can use those codes to steal the Ebonhawk. Oh, well, I already did that, so goodbye. It won't be long until Davik figures out I'm free. Won't matter. You'll die horribly. <laughs> We've got what we came for. And see, here's the thing. I already used my computer thingy to hack into the thing, so it doesn't matter. Um. Yeah, because this leads to the barracks. And then. That leads to the hangar. And I'm hoping. Please be good enough. Yes! My demolition skill is finally good enough. A little late in the game, but it, it works now. And I believe that that is everything. Yep, because we're back around to the guest rooms. That is everything in Davit Kang's estate. Which means, uh... This was your last chance to vote on the Jedi classes. Absolute last chance incoming in five, four, three, two... Damn them, Sith. They're bombing the whole planet. I knew they'd turn on the sooner or... Oh, look what we got here. Thieves in a hangar. So, you figured you'd just steal my ship for your getaway and leave me high and dry while the Sith turn the planet into dust? Sorry, but that ain't gonna happen. I'll take care of them, Davik. I've been looking forward to this for a long time. Make it quick, Carlo. The Sith mean business. If we don't get to our ships and find somewhere safe, the bombs there drop and we'll kill us all. <laughs> This is the part that I really, that I really wanted. Fucking upgrades to Kalo's weapon, or to Candace's wow. weapon. What? Die, droid. You may have me outnumbered and outgunned, but if I'm going down, I'm taking all of you with me. This thermal detonator will blow us all to bits. And then we run out of the way. Damn those shit! I'll bring this whole hangar down around our ears. And that, ladies and gents, yes, was well, one way you can win that fight. Ah, oh God, sneeze going on, and somehow that son of a. Well, I'm not going to spoil things, but I don't think that'll be the last we'll see of Callow Nord, is what I'm saying. Oh, come on now, don't die. Yes, Let's I want to board the goddamn Evan Hawk. We'll pick up the rest of your friends and then we'll have to get off this planet.
Taris is defenseless against our assault, Lord Malak. They are offering no resistance. The city is in ruins. Resume the bombardment, Commander. Wipe this pathetic planet from the face of the galaxy. So come on, it's one of the cooler cutscenes. There we go. Bye bye, Taurus. I'd like to point out that whoever's flying the ship has probably never fly before. Actually, Karth's probably flying it, so we're, we're probably not too. But, like, who flew it out of the hangar bay? Uh, let's be real, probably my character. <laughs> Plot a course for Dantooine. There's a Jedi Enclave there where we can find refuge. Incoming fighters! Quickly, to the gun turrets! You have to hold the Sith fighters off until we get those hyperspace coordinates punched in. Please work. Please be functional. Fucking eviscerate the Evan Hawk before I have controls. as if the game was optimized for this. Almost like it's an RPG, not a fucking fighter simulator. Come on. Just flying around the other direction right now. I can't spin the mouse around fast enough. I don't have that kind of mouse. Seems like a lifetime since I last set foot on her surface. Though in truth, it's only been a few months. We should be safe from Malak here. For now, at least. Safe? You saw what his fleet did to Terrace. There wasn't a building over two stories high left standing. They, they turned the planet into one big pile of rubble. Even the Sith would think twice before attacking Dantooine. There are many Jedi here, including several of the most powerful masters of the Order. There is great strength within this place. With Basilin, we should be safe here. We can get supplies here and recuperate. The Academy is a place of mental and spiritual healing, something we could all use after what we've been through. Maybe you're right. It isn't easy to witness the annihilation of the entire planet. I know Meshin must be taking it pretty hard. She will find a way to come to terms with her grief. 
She's stronger than she appears. We just need to give her time. Now I must go speak with the council. I need their advice on recent developments. After I've met with them, I will meet you outside the ship. I've spoken briefly with the Council. They request an audience with you. We should go at once. An audience with the Jedi Council? It's pretty unusual for someone who isn't even a Jedi. What's this about, Bastila? I'm sorry, Karth, but I cannot tell you. All I ask is that you trust in the Force and the wisdom of the Council. Well, I don't like being left out of the loop, but I'm not looking to get you in any trouble with the Jedi Masters. We'll do things your way for a while. Come. They're expecting us. I will lead you to the Council Chambers. And with that, that is the end. With the, with the destruction of Taurus, the death of notorious exchange leader Davit Kang, and us landing on Dantooine and acquiring the Abin Hawk. Pretty sweet looking ship, don't do say so myself. That is the end of this episode. Again, this is the absolute last episode that you can vote on whether or not I should be the Jedi Guardian, the Jedi Sentinel, or the Jedi Counselor. Because uh, we're about to go and talk to the Council and get that sorted out real quick. So, beginning of next episode of Star Wars is going to be that episode where that gets decided. It is going to happen. There's no way around it. So, um, I, hmm, if I say something, I gotta commit to it. The easy, I would say that, the, yeah, that this is the last video you have a chance to do it because when the Dishonored series video airs after this. I'm going to then record this. And I don't know if I'm going to record this after that uploads. Or just before it uploads. So with that in mind. If you want to vote. This is the final opportunity. When it comes to the Jedi classes. But, that being said, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will look forward to seeing you all in the, uh, in the next one. I finally get to have my character become, uh, a fair bit stronger than what he is now. He's not, he's not great. <laughs> not the greatest. But uh, I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.